I like to explain what is free space path loss equation. In this diagram, you can see that on your left is the transmitting antenna, while on your right is actually the receiving antenna. Free space path loss actually anticipate the loss in between the transmitter and also the receiver. With the knowledge of the path loss, then I will be able to anticipate whether can I receive or I cannot receive the signal. So therefore, this equation, free space path loss, is actually very important okay, under this link budget. Based on Fritz transmission formula, I have derived this equation. And according okay, to the IEEE definition of free space path loss is actually defined as such. Okay, so basically they define free space path loss as the loss between two isotropic radiators in free space that is actually expressed as a power ratio. So therefore, I need to rearrange the freeze transmission formula. Since it mentioned that it's a power ratio, so basically over the left-hand term, you can see that it's basically the receiver power over the transmit power. So basically, this will be the equation for free space path loss equation. However, the gain of the transmitter and the gain of the receiver don't play any role on any okay, regards on the free space path loss in between the transmitter and receiver. So therefore, I disregard this GT and GRA, and I mainly concentrate on this term to derive the free space path loss equation. So guys, if you're keen to know how to derive this free space path loss equation, please see the playlist. But over this equation, you can see that this path loss is actually a function of frequency and also range. The higher the frequency, the more loss that you're going to anticipate. Again, the further you are, again, you are going to anticipate more path loss. So with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please see the description for more information. Thank you so much.